Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for the Pisces full moon coming up here on September 14th. This will be the second one I have done. I did one about middle of August just because it came to me on a whim. Now I've decided to do another one, so we're just going to see what comes up for this Pisces full moon. What kind of message that I have to deliver from you or for you? <laughs> Yeah, what do we got? What do we got for the 14th? What do we have for the 14th? Woo! Well, interesting, because the one that I did before was the love begins, and now we got the lover's card. This is two people coming together that look to be very spiritually connected, right? This is meant to be. This is the lover's card. This is unexpected. This is love heals. This is a soulmate connection. This is a union. A very beautiful union by the looks of things. This is totally, this is two people that are meant to be a coming together, holding hands, you know, totally. It's like they both know. They are meant to be. Very interesting. Ooh, we have the Hierophant. A higher power has brought these two people together. Could be dealing with Taurus, could be dealing with a Gemini. Um, this is divinely guided. Okay. Somebody from above has brought these two people together. The time is now. This is a temperance card. The time is now. The seeds that were planted have come. It's come. It's blossom. It's it's time. It is absolutely time. The 14th. Recognition and reward. This is the three of pentacles. Yeah, something is arriving. It's, it's in sight. It's now. Exactly. It has arrived. The time has arrived. It's like a prayer has been answered. Somebody's prayer has been answered. Now, if you, this is a 14. 11 plus 3 equals 14. Now, this is for the 14th, so so far, you know, I imagine we're going to get another card right here, but something is about to happen. The seeds were planted, or the seed was planted a long time ago, and the time is now. Somebody's prayer has been answered. That's what I see here. We have a union that is coming together. It's like you've been waiting for it, and here it is. That's what I see. Ooh, there's the, there it is. Prosperity begins. The other one was it is the beginning. The 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 uh, video that I did for the 14th that says the beginning. It's gonna it's in my lineup. So this is a new beginning. <laughs> You've made somebody. This is the Ace of Pentacles. This is a big golden opportunity. Somebody has manifested something. I'm speechless because this is like, it's the time is ripe. Right now. Right now. The time is absolutely now. Conflict and defeat. That's the five of swords. Six of pentacles. Material and spiritual prosperity. Strength. Man versus beast. What goes around comes around. The time is now. The time is now. This is somebody's about to receive. Somebody is about to receive what something that they have asked for. After feeling completely defeated. 
Somebody may have run away from a union. They may have run away. They may have. Maybe now they're coming back. I don't know. Ooh, we have the moon card. This is with the full moon. This is with the full moon. Absolutely. Something is about to be shown. Something is about to be shown that was hidden. All is not as it seems. Okay? Somebody is about to be rewarded for their patience. Okay? You may not see it coming. You may feel like this that this is a complete loss, but it's not. Mental conflict. This is the Two of Swords. Somebody is all in their head. Definitely. Definitely. With the moon next to it. Somebody is all in their head about what if. Somebody has been blocking their own prosperity because of their indecision, because of their confusion. But it looks as though now they have reached a state of defeat, okay? This is like a union or a partnership that you can't run away from. It's meant to be. It's meant to be. It's just the way it is. So I feel like we have somebody here that is about to receive some sort of divine guidance, receiving divine guidance that they need to find the strength and the confidence to go after what Ever they what to to do whatever they gotta do to go after what they planted a long time ago. It's like this: if the time is absolutely now, okay. Somebody may have thought this was never gonna happen, that it was never going to change, or that they would never be able to get to this prosperity, to this new beginning. But we have a new beginning here, okay. This is a this is a new beginning. This is a golden opportunity. And remember I said holding hands. Take a look at this. Holding hands. Somebody is about to take the person's hand that they are meant to be with. And I don't know who this reading is for. But this is almost like it's an answered prayer. Okay. Somebody, somebody's perseverance, somebody's uh, patience, somebody's uh, ability to find the strength to do what they need to do to face fear, to look fear in the eye, to do whatever it is that they have to do to bring success is going to bring them some sort of reward. I think we have somebody here that is about to get recognized for whatever it is that they bring to the table. You know what I mean? Somebody is, is, is going to probably receive some sort of commitment. You know, somebody may be receiving uh, a gift. Could be even a ring. Could be an apology. I don't know. This is a gift. The Ace of uh, Pentacles is a gift. This person has been living in fear, okay? This person has been living in fear. This person has been very conflicted. But I think this, this person is about to see the light in some way. So I feel like today is a day of uh, two people coming together in a perfect union. I feel like the time is now. I think it's unexpected. Somebody is about to take control. Somebody is going to find the strength to let go of their fears. Step out from behind the shadows. Deal with their own mental conflict. And make some sort of solid offer. That's what I see. That is absolutely what I see. You know, I hope this reading is for you. 
I don't know if it is, but I do I see love here. It's very unexpected. These two people are absolutely positively soulmates. They are. They are soulmates. They are meant to be together. Um could be dealing with a Gemini, could be dealing with a Taurus, could be dealing with a Sagittarius, could be dealing with a Pisces, could be dealing with a Cancer, could be dealing with a Leo, could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, could be dealing with anybody, anybody, okay, because everybody is here. But we have two people coming together unexpectedly, and they are soulmates. And this is love heals. This is potential. This is something, this is permanent. This is solid. This is stable. Long term. This is a gift. This is a new beginning. Somebody has manifested a new beginning. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. We're going to get four of these. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. One more. Right over here, right over this moon card. I think somebody is. Somebody is going to see the red flags. And then they're going to see the light. They're going to see the light. Because, you know, I covered up the darkness. Somebody is about to decide what it is that they want. They're going to see the light as into what they want. And they're going to probably release somebody. Maybe they're going to release somebody because they know who they want. One more. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Whew. Somebody is leaving somebody behind. They are. Wow. They are leaving somebody behind because there's something that they planted a long time ago that has come to fruition. This has come to fruition and this has come to fruition. And the only way that they can grasp onto it is to let go of the wrong one. And I think that what happens is, is that they see an opportunity for happiness. They may get some sort of vision about where happiness is. Somebody may want to go home. Okay, because this is like looking at home. It's like, I just want to go home. This person is looking at home. Yeah, somebody is like, I want to go home. I think somebody is going to go home. I think we have somebody here that is letting go of an uh, unrequited love situation because they have a spiritual connection with somebody else. And that's what I see. This person has been living in some sort of shadow. They've been really conflicted, but it's like they see the light. That's what I see. That's what I see. So we have, a, we have a new beginning here. And two people are coming together that are meant to be after somebody finally decides to wake up. That is what I got.